what can we do to identify areas for cost savings or what experiences have you had where technology really played a difference in driving margin growth or margin enhancement? Sure. So obviously as a, uh, a project manager, you have a very high level view of a project as it's initially getting started uh, through its entire life cycle. So right off the bat, you get exposed to a lot of different ideas. Some of those you might identify opportunities to say, I've used that software in the past. I've used it in these ways. Here are the different ways that I can develop that software, increase ROI to make it a better development, um, to, to increase the output of the project. But additionally, just in, in general, as a project manager, you, you have that 1,000 foot or 10,000 foot view of the project, which is pretty unique uh, from, from a project perspective. A lot of people are cloistered. They're in these little silos. They're working on their individual uh, delivery, and they may not know one, one team's using this piece of software, we're using this other piece of software. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you can identify opportunities like that. Uh, just by getting a better view and then bringing those people to the table, getting them to agree on on the better way of doing things, the more effective or efficient way of doing things. Um, and having those conversations early on, um, obviously, can result in uh, a much larger ROI on a given project. Heather, feel free to, to jump in here as well. Has there been any one like technology or methodology that really made a difference that you just kind of suddenly realized or had an epiphany wow, this really makes a difference in what we're trying to do here. One of the things that there's a lot of data out there right now showing that many projects, most projects, if they fail, they've probably failed on the change side, on the people side. So there's some aspect of the project that that adoption just isn't happening. And that's up you know, between 75 and 90% of mm -hmm. projects will have uh, failure around the people piece. One client uh, really didn't have an idea of all of the different things that were happening to their organization. And when they looked at all of the projects layered on top of each other, and then what those impacts were, they realized we're going to have to delay some of these things because we can't have our sales force doing five different things during a key closure at the end of the quarter. We right. can't do certain things that are going to have an impact to the, the systems that finance is, is using at the end of the year when they're trying to do year-end close. And so by offering those insights, they, they were able to avoid having disruptions to the work that people were doing as a result of these projects. And when you're, when you're looking at things that don't happen, it's hard to measure that sometimes. But if you mm -hmm. take a look at Here's, here's what would have happened if all of those things had gone down. You're looking at costs of downtime, people not being able to do the work that they need to do, overtime paid. Uh, so there are real costs associated with change management that having the right technology and having some guidance on how to use it and some insight to it can uh, make a tremendous difference. Mm -hmm.